Good morning. Praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let us come to before the presence of the Lord. Yes, Lord. In the spirit and the truth in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. Thank Father you, God. God, in Jesus' name, we come to you and pray and give you thanks and praise, Father God. Let us honor and reverence your name, O oh yes, God, in the name Lord, of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us come with you unto you giving praise yes, and glory God. to your name for yes, all that God. you've done for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. And all that you've gotten us through, O oh God. Yes, we thank God. you for waking us up this morning, O oh God. Thank we you, thank Lord. you for giving us the strength to get up and get going and get do what we have to do, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. According to your purpose, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Yes, O oh God. Father God, we thank you for those people that you have brought up off of ventilation, out of the hospital beds, yes, out of nursing home, yes, sick beds, and whatever it was that they were going through financially. Yes, you just Lord. move in it. Uh, in <coughs> people's favor, oh God, in the name of Jesus, you yes, just for your children. We thank you, Father God. Thank we you, thank you for making this ministry so great and it's blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, you Lord, for the this grace, oh God, Jesus. because you love the people. You care thank for the people Jesus. in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the obedience you, of the bishop and the, the first lady thank just you, doing thank what they can do and thank use of what they got, not complaining, just moving in obedience, oh God. Keep giving them strength to do what they got to do. Anything that try to comes up against them, Oh God, we rebook and bind those spirits in the in name, name of Jesus. Jesus. We bind any type of spirits to try to work through them or anything, in Father God. Anybody Jesus. who put their hands on them or anything, oh God, we Jesus. cast those spirits down. If they even touch them, oh God, oh God, and send that warring angel to attack anything to try to touch them, Lord, because we want them to keep lifted up and keep going forth in the name of Jesus, Father God. We want the people to hear the truth and nothing but the truth. We want to represent you, oh God, always in the name of Jesus. We want to preach the truth always in the yes, name of Jesus. Thank no, you. Lord. We don't want to preach ourselves. We want to preach Jesus. Yes, we don't God. want to preach about cars and houses, anything. We want to preach about you, Lord, yes, because God. it's you that's going to save us. It's you that's going to take us up yes, in the God. end days, oh God. Yes, and there's God. no other way we may be saved except through Jesus Christ. Yes, God. In the name you, of Jesus, we pray. Yes, we God. give you thanks for that, Lord. Yes, because God. if we're still alive today, oh God, yes, we got a purpose. And Lord, we ask you to yes, show us. Yes, God. Absence yes, God. Absence yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Truly, we thank you, praise the Lord, for being here this morning. Thank you, Lord, for that prayer this morning, because truly God has been good to all of us. And for our opening scripture this morning, we'll ask that you turn to Psalms uh, 95. Verses 1 through 6. We're going to read those verses together. Psalms, Psalms uh -huh, 95, verses 1 through 6. And when we have it, ask that you stand in reverence to the Word of God. And for those of you who are joining us this morning, thank you for being a part of our service with us via live stream. And we ask you as well to just stand up and we're going to give honor to the Word of God. Psalms 95. 1 through 6. And it reads, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader, hear and do of his word. And we just want to come together for a few minutes just to lift up the name of Jesus. God has been good to us when we look around and see all of the devastation, all of the troubled things that's going on around us. God has been good to us. Amen. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, I told Satan. Get thee behind, oh, victory today is mine. Oh, joy is mine, joy is mine. 
chapter number seven and we will start reading at verse number 12 mm -hmm. St. Luke 7 and 12 okay. read such as now when he came nigh to the gate of the city behold there was a dead man mm -hmm. carried out uh -huh. the only son of his mother mm -hmm. and she was a widow mm -hmm. And much people of the city was with her. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion mm -hmm. on her and said unto her, Weep not. Yes, and he came and touched the briar, and they that bare him stood still. Mm -hmm. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Mm -hmm. And he that was dead, sat up and began to speak mm -hmm. and he <coughs> delivered him to his mother. Mm -hmm. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Uh -huh. uh, in verse number 14 it reads, and he came and touched the bar, mm -hmm. and they that bear him stood still. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to use as a subject. Jesus stops the funeral. Jesus stops the funeral. We do not know 
why the young man died. Mm -hmm. The Bible doesn't tell us, it just tells us that he was dead. Mm -hmm. And I kind of thought about that because it said he was a young man. Mm -hmm. And many of our young people are dying today. Mm -hmm. They're dying through drugs, violence of all manners of kind, mm -hmm. and there are too many mothers today that are going to funerals. Mm -hmm. If we look at this woman, she was in a bad condition. Mm -hmm. Number one, she was a widow, mm -hmm. so that means her husband was dead. Mm -hmm. Number two, this was her only son. Mm -hmm. So that means she would have nobody to take care of her. Mm -hmm. Because if the husband died and, and the lady had a son, then the husband would take care of their mother. But now this was her only son, the husband was dead, so now she has nobody to take care of her. Mm -hmm. She had no way of making a living. Mm -hmm. So she was weeping. Not just because her son had died, mm -hmm. but now what was she going to do now? Mm -hmm. Who was going to see after her? And this is like what we're dealing with today. Too many people, some that have been raised in the church, mm -hmm. are headed to the grave. Mm -hmm. They're headed to the graveyard without Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. But in light of this, God is able yes. to stop the future. Yes, God. He is able, no matter what the condition is, and sometimes we look and see some people in some terrible conditions. Mm -hmm. And if God does not intervene on their behalf, they will kill their own selves. Mm -hmm or are in a condition mm -hmm. that will kill them. Mm -hmm. But as long as there is life, mm -hmm. there is hope. That's right. The Bible tells us a live dog is better than a dead lion. Mm -hmm. So there's still hope. Mm -hmm. Now if you look in the St. John chapter number 10, verse number 10, look at this. It says, The thief cometh not but for to steal mm -hmm. and to kill and to destroy. Mm -hmm. But look what it says. I am come that ye might have life yes, and that ye might have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. And that always intrigued me because Jesus says here the thief, which is the devil, mm -hmm. come to steal. He comes to steal from us. Anything that God have blessed you with naturally and spiritually, mm -hmm. he wants to take it away That's from right. you. That's number one. Then number two, after he takes it, he wants to kill you. Now when we talking about killing you, we talking about killing this natural body. So he doesn't want us to have life. Mm -hmm. He wants to kill us. Mm -hmm. But then after that, here's the key. He says he not only wants to kill us, he wants to destroy us. Mm -hmm. And that destroy has to do, because you can only kill the body. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about destruction, from what we're talking about, he's talking about your soul. Mm -hmm. He wants to take your soul. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have to be aware of today. It's not just the body, but it's the soul. Because after you die, after I die, the soul is going to have to spend eternity somewhere. You are going, because you might look at it, when the body goes into the grave, it's going back to the dust. So where is the real you? The spirit goes back to the God that gave it. Mm -hmm. So where is the real you? That's your soul. Mm -hmm. That's where you are going to be eternally, because the soul doesn't die. Right. So the thief, the devil, want your 
so he wants to claim you for all eternity and what is sad too many people today don't realize that but Jesus said I am come my purpose is to come yes. that you might have life and that more abundantly yes. and that, 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 that that's a blessing because God is able to turn situations around. Yeah. He now, now, if you watch this, the, the scripture, they were coming out of the city. Jesus was going into the city. So Jesus met them. They came together mm -hmm. at a particular point in time. It was designed where they would come and meet at this particular place. One going out and one coming in. And when they do meet, Jesus stops the procession, mm -hmm. which was headed to the grave. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if, if if you look at this, Jesus has the power to bring life out of death. Mm -hmm. He not only does that then, he does that now. Because yeah. many of us now, if it wasn't for the Lord, death already would have had us. But the Lord delivered us from the hands of death. Yeah, yeah. Now, look at this. If you study the Bible and look at another situation of death, look at the death of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't understand what caused him to die. But he got sick mm -hmm. and he died. Mm -hmm. Well, he had two sisters that were seeing see after him. They called for Jesus. Jesus waited two days and then came. Mm -hmm. When he got there, Lazarus was already dead. Now, you will say, why did Jesus wait two days instead of just going there and healing him? Well, he wanted to really manifest the power of God. And see, what the Jews believed, the Jews believed that if you died, your spirit hovered around you for two days. They believed that even if you were dead, that spirit was still hovering mm -hmm. around you. And after two days, then the spirit would leave. So Jesus waited. So, because see, if he had to went there right then and healed him, they would have said, well, his spirit was already there anyway. It just came back in. So Jesus waited. He didn't want to leave no doubt that it was the power of God. Yes. And when he got there, his sisters were, dis uh, were disappointed because they said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Mm -hmm. And the people said, well, what about this man? He opened up blind eyes. He healed sick. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't he heal this man? Mm -hmm. See, they, they were limited in their thinking of what God can do. And that's, that's where the devil messes us up. He only thinks God can only, makes us think, well, the Lord can only do this. Mm -hmm. There is no limit to the power of God. What did Jesus say when he got out of the grave? He stepped out of the grave and said, all power right. in heaven and in earth mm -hmm. is given unto me. Yes. So there's nothing the Lord can't do, right. even today. Yes. We have to think about it. No situation mm -hmm. is too hard for the Lord. If, and that's what he tells him. He said he, he can come forth if you believe. Yeah. That's the key right there. So he said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. He said, the only thing I want to know, where have you laid? Mm -hmm. Take me where you have laid him, mm -hmm. and then I want y'all to move the stone. Mm -hmm. Now, the grave then... Uh, was not like graves now where you just bury people in the ground. Mm -hmm. They put them in caves. So even when he was there, there was a big stone. They put big stones in front of him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus told them, what you need to do is move the stone. Mm -hmm. And when he told them to move the stone, they were obedient. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of times what's going on with people now. The Lord wants to intercede and come in in their hearts, in their minds, in their situations, but they got a block up there. It's something that's blocking them. And I can tell you exactly what that block is. Doubt and unbelief. See, the devil will make us look at situations 
instead of believing God, we start to let doubt in the end. So the Lord said, move the storm. A lot of us can get, get, get deliverances and healing and blessings right now if we would just move that stone. So they moved, they moved the stone. So what did the Lord say after they moved the stone? He said, Lazarus, come forth. He called him by his name. Now many, many theologians believe he called him by his name and just didn't say, come forth. Mm -hmm. Because he had just said, come forth. Every dead person in the cemetery would have got up. So therefore he said, Lazarus. That means this is your time. Mm -hmm. See, all of us have a time and a season. That might not be your time now, but if we can hold on, our season will come. So he calls it. So what happened? Now this is what's very interesting to me. Some theologians believe that it was just a regular cave with his body in there. Some believe that there was a cave that even descended into the earth with steps. So once you went in, there were steps that took you even down further into the cave. But whatever it was, when the Lord called him forth, mm -hmm. he came out of there. But, but think about that. He was wrapped up in grave clothes. Mm -hmm. That means his head was wrapped up, his arms and feet was wrapped up. So there was no way he could walk. Because he was tied up. He was wrapped up in those. That's how they, that's how they prepared you for burial. They wrapped you in those clothes. But the Bible said when he told him to come forth, he came out of there. Now, I don't know if he hopped out of there. Right. I don't know if it was down in the ground. Mm -hmm. The power of God had to ascend and bring him up so he could come out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times God has to bring you up. Yes, before you can come out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're so deep in things, God got to bring you up out of there, bring you up before you can come out. But anyway, he came out of the grave. Why? Because the Lord called him. Yeah. And I'm telling you, when the Lord calls you, you it's time to come out. Mm -hmm. You have to come out when the Lord calls us. We have to come out. It's time. And many have been down in something years and years and years. And it's time for God calling you today, telling you to come out. We don't know how long many people have been in darkness. But look what the Bible says. God commanded the light to shine out of darkness. See, the Bible tells you over in John that the light shined into darkness and we couldn't comprehend the light. Mm -hmm. And some of us were in position when the light came to us, we, we couldn't understand. We were so engulfed by darkness and sin, yeah. we could yeah. not even understand what the Lord was trying to do for us. But one day God commanded yes, the light Lord. to shine out of darkness. Isn't that something? Shine out. My, my, my. We couldn't get it coming in, Jesus. but we got it coming, coming out. out. Lord Jesus. And this is the thing we have to understand. This, 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 this message about the funeral Jesus. is designed to give us hope. Mm -hmm. The devil depends on beating us down till we lose hope. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't lose hope. Mm -hmm. Hope is something that God allows us to have. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things oh. hoped for. What kind of faith you gonna have if you lose hope? That's right. The evidence mm -hmm. of things not seen. Not seen. Mm -hmm. I can't see it mm -hmm. yet, but I'm still hoping. Right. Thank you, Lord. And that's, and that's the key Thank right you, there. Lord. That's the key right there. He called him out. He was free from death. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. He was free from death, but he wasn't free from them grave clothes. Mm -hmm. So even after that, the Lord had to tell them to loose him yes, God. and let him go. Let him go. 
And see, some people have life. Some people are saved. Some people have the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and are spiritual, but they still buy yes, God. with grave clothes Lord, help us today. and need to be loosed. Mm -hmm. They know the Lord. They've been saved. They know the power of God, mm -hmm. but they still buy. Jesus. And some people, some people come to church like that. Now, now note those grave clothes not only were wrapped around uh, his limbs, his arms, mm -hmm. and his legs, they were also wrapped around his head. Mm -hmm. They wrapped around his head like that. Mm -hmm. And some people are like that now. When they come to church, they don't praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The devil will, will move on them with that, what we call that spirit of the python mm -hmm. that wraps them up. So they cannot praise mm -hmm. God. Praise God. Yeah. That's a problem. Because mm -hmm. we should praise God. Yeah. No matter what condition you in. Mm -hmm. In all things give thanks. Mm -hmm. This is the will of God concerning you. Mm -hmm. We should be praising the Lord. No matter what the condition is. We should be thanking it. Mm -hmm. This lady was crying. Going to the graveyard with her son. What's the first thing Jesus told her? Weep not. I ain't raised him yet. Stop crying. Jesus. We not. Jesus. In other words, things are getting ready to change. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. And you got to believe that today. You might be dealing with something. Those of you that are listening to this today, you might be going through something. But I'm telling you, things are getting ready to change. Thank you, Lord. You have to believe that. Thank you, Lord. The devil tells you, no, it ain't. everything going to go is going to be just like that tomorrow. First thing you tell the devil is he's a liar. Yes. And the father of lies. Yes. And I'm telling you through the word of God that things are getting ready to change. Thank you, And when Lord. I talk about change, I ain't just talking about change. I'm talking about change for the better. Yes, Lord. And improve. So what happens? Jesus meets this processional coming out. He's going in and he touches the coffin where they lay in the boy on, which is not a coffin like our coffin, it's something open and just carrying it. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he touches that thing, the people who were carrying him stop. Mm -hmm. They stopped because the procession was moving. When as soon as Jesus touched that thing, they stopped. All right, so what happened? Jesus said, Young man, rise up. Mm -hmm. Even though death had him, death had to let go. Had to let go. Had to let go. And now, here's what I, I want you to catch this point right here. The Bible said, now look look at this. I want you, I want you, to, I want you to get this very, very clearly. If you go, let, let, let's go back to 14. Mm -hmm. It said, and he came and touched the briar and they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, arise. Now watch verse 15. And he that was dead sat up, mm -hmm. now watch this, and began to speak. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. He just didn't get up looking around. As soon as he got up, he began to speak. Mm -hmm. Now here's the key. Now when he was dead, he couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as the Lord raised him up, he began to speak. Now here, here's what I want you to catch right now. A lot of people are in a bad condition. They're dead spiritually. And they're in a bad condition naturally because of their tongue. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we speak mm -hmm. the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. What does the Bible tell you? Death and life is what? In the power of the tongue. So a lot of times people are in a bad condition because of what they say. Mm -hmm. They keep saying the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But when he got raised up, now watch this, he began to speak. In other words, he's speaking different now. Mm -hmm. He's talking like a man that has life and a future. Mm -hmm. See, he was young. Now when he died, he didn't have no future. Mm -hmm. But now that he raised back up, what? That's the sad thing about young people when they die. When they die, the whole future gone. Mm -hmm. You're not just looking at what died, but you're looking at what could have been. We don't know what could have been. 
because mm -hmm. now their life is gone. Mm -hmm. So what does he do? He raises him up and he first thing he does, he begins to speak. Yes, God. He begins to speak things that have to do with life, mm -hmm. not death. Yes, Lord. That's the key right there. Mm -hmm. And I think here's another point I want to bring out too. One key I want to definitely pull out of this is that too many of us today, we need to speak. We need to speak in the tongue of the Holy Ghost. You have a lot of people don't do that. They don't. They don't believe. Well, I know. I, I, I know. I know. I'm saved. Now I don't believe. You got to have the Holy Ghost. No, you get the Holy Ghost. One of the evidences is speaking in tongues. I don't care what nobody tell you. They can tell you they ain't this and that, and that. I'm telling you what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. He began to speak, and when the Lord bring you life, when the Lord bring you back, when the Lord bring you out of a condition, that's one thing you're going to do. You're going to speak. And when the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost, you are going to speak. Yes, Lord. And when you speak, you're speaking in a language. Mm -hmm. You're not just stuttering and stammering. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. You get to speak clearly. And that is when, even when I was coming up in the church and then people was started stammering and things like that, they they no, you stay right till that, mm -hmm. till that tongue come. Mm -hmm. And that's the key. He began to speak mm -hmm. in tongues. One more point I want to get out of that scripture. Mm -hmm. After he began to speak, what's the next thing happened? It said he delivered him mm -hmm. to his mother. To his mother. Mm -hmm. You know what the mother is? The church. Too many people are dead and dying because they didn't got away from the church. Mm -hmm. So what did the Lord do after he after he raised him up? Mm -hmm. He said, "Now you go right back to your mother." Mm -hmm. He delivered him to the church, and that's what that's the key right now. Too many folk have got away from the church mm -hmm. into a lot of other stuff that's not the church, and it, and it caused him to die. But once he raised him up, he said, look, he, did, he didn't tell him to go. He delivered him. In other words, this is your mother. Why? Because this now, you're going to take care of your mother. Mm -hmm. And in our case, not only that, the church will take care of us. Mm -hmm. Got to have the church. <laughs> Got to have the church. Mm -hmm. Too many people are trying to do things away from the church. Mm -hmm. Church is designed. It is designed for our spiritual growth, our salvation, our continued walk with God, our relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. And too many people, what did the Lord say in Revelation? He said, I got all against you. You left your first love. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. The condition our world is in now. Not just our world, the church world. Mm -hmm. Why? It's time to come back. Come back. Come back to... Lord Jesus. Please come back to the mother. Mm -hmm. That's the key. You can't, you can't leave that out. Mm -hmm. You can't leave that out. And the Bible tells us that a fear came on those people. Mm -hmm. And they glorified God. And they began to talk about the power of the Lord. Yes, Lord. But the key is the Lord was able to stop that procession. Yeah. What if Jesus hadn't ran into them people? He would have took that young boy right out and put him in the grave and that would have been it. What if the Lord hadn't stopped our people? Where would we be today without the Lord? Mm -mm. What kind of condition we would have been in My if Lord. Jesus hadn't mm -hmm. stopped? And, and you say, well, I was doing all you was headed for a funeral. Yes, Lord. Mm. If the Lord hadn't stepped, if it had not been for the Lord. That's right. Mm. The enemy would have consumed us. Yeah, he would have. Mm -hmm. But when he came to destroy us, mm. he stumbled. Mm. Stumbled and fell. Yes, God. He stopped all, all of us were headed to a funeral. Sure and and it, I think that's very foolish thinking to believe you are where you are because of you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You are alive tonight, mm -hmm. today, because of you. No, mm -hmm. it's the Lord. It's the Lord. Them people, mm -hmm. after that man got raised up, them folks started to glorify God. Yeah. And that's what we need to do. Yeah. We need to be thankful. Yeah. We need to be thankful. Thank and, then, and, and I don't care what kind of condition you're in. Mm -hmm. 
it, it might be like a hopeless condition. Mm -hmm. Just like Jesus stopped that funeral, mm -hmm. he can turn this thing around. Mm -hmm. It's designed to give us hope. Nothing is too hard for God. Mm -hmm. Nothing is too hard for God. Mm -hmm. We don't hear any more about that widow or that young man, but we do know that now he's alive. Mm -hmm. Now they're together. And now she got somebody to take care of. Yes, Lord Jesus. We know that much. And that's a blessing right there. That's right. And, and right, I can Lord. tell you what up. Right now, we are alive. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is taking care of us. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we with the mother because we are in the church right now. We don't want to forget that. We thank God thank you. for you this morning. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Stopped the mm -hmm. He stopped that film. Thank you. And you know what? That, that scripture says when that lady came out that city, it said there was a lot of people with her mm -hmm. because they knew she didn't have nobody. Mm -hmm. it was, that was her last hope was her son. And I guess the, a great multitude of people were weeping mm -hmm. for her mm -hmm. in her condition. Mm -hmm. But all those people got to see glory of God. Because yes, after that boy got back up, them folks started glorifying God. Started praising the Lord. Mm -hmm. Look what type of man yes, this is. Lord. And we thank God for you. Continue to be encouraged this morning. You know a lot of us are going through a lot of things and dealing with a lot of things. We are living in a terrible time. Mm -hmm. We are living in a terrible time. Mm -hmm. But God still is on the throne. He has all power. Mm -hmm. And I tell you this. I don't care what's going on. Now, Putin just invaded the Ukraine. Anytime God get ready, he can stop that. That's right. He can stop that. That's right. That's right. He can stop that. He can stop that today if he wants to. That's right. That's right. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, I, I give you an example. Israel is a small country. Mm -hmm. And some years ago, Egypt, which is much larger, attacked Israel. Mm -hmm. They call that the Six Day War because they attacked Israel. Israel fought them back and defeated them in six days. And they rested on the seventh. See, that's how you got a law to work. That's right. Law with it. He right. said, y'all ain't going to worry about, we're going right. to whoop these jokers in six days, <laughs> and, and now on seven days, y'all coming back to worship me. Right. And, they, and, 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 and the whole nation, the whole nation of Israel said they knew that was God. Yeah. That, that caused them to defeat them Egyptians. <laughs> and I tell you one thing about these, they didn't bother them no more. <laughs> they didn't bother them no more. So all this going on, Ooh, these, these, these world leaders, yeah. Thinking they so much they can do mm -hmm. what they want to do. Mm -hmm. That go for Putin, that go for China, mm -hmm. Iran, and all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. God can God can stop anything. And 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 what they're saying is that that Russia is finding when they're attacking, they're finding stiff resistance. They can't take that capital because them folks fight. <laughs> them folks fighting them back. They didn't think they're gonna get that much resistance. You got 150 thousand men, just like that's happening. God is still in control. Yes. Nobody paying no, nobody paying no attention to what Biden talking about with sanctions. Mm -hmm. You don't care. They, they, those are symbolic. Mm -hmm. Putin got money all over the world. Yeah. He ain't think anything about them stopping no banks. Mm -hmm. But he can't stop God. No, he cannot. He can't, he stop, can't stop God. Him. Just like a lot of this wickedness that has been going on in our country. A lot of people are getting mistreated, just like that boy got killed down there in Georgia. Mm -hmm. God straightened this stuff out. That's right. God is in control. Mm -hmm. they, they never did think by killing that young man, they'd be serving two or three life sentences. That's right. Mm -hmm. We thank God for you today. We pray that something that they said to mm -hmm. help you elevate your mind. Mm -hmm. and we want to pray right now, dear Father God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, we thank you for another opportunity yes, 
you've given us to come today and hear your word. Yes. Hey, yes, Thank Lord. You, Lord. We ask you to move right now. Thank you, oh God. In a mighty way. Lord, somebody that's under the sound of my voice. Yes, Father. Lord is discouraged and going through some things. Yes, Lord. But God, we pray you to raise them up. Just in the name of Jesus. Strengthen their heart and mind. Yes, God. Give them courage. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank Make you. the enemy lose his hope right now. Thank we you, plead God. the blood. Yes, God. Hey, the blood of Jesus. Yes, Father God. God, we thank you for thank what you you've God. done, for what you're doing, and what you're going to do. Thank you, Lord Continue God. Continue to bless us. Keep us. Make us what you would have us. In the name of Jesus. These blessings we ask right now. Yes, Lord. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you today. Praise Amen. the Lord for another service. Thank you. We're going to ask uh, Sister Lord to come. She's going to give us our announcement, our upcoming schedule of our service. Thank you. Julie. Again, another great message. And I don't know about nobody else, but I am so grateful that Jesus stopped my funeral. Amen. I'm telling you, because sometimes we can be in stuff vicious, like you said, for a long, long, long time, and be on our way to the grave. Right, right. But before we get to that graveyard, mm -hmm. Jesus stops the funeral. So I'm thankful, Griffin, for the yes, funeral this morning. Uh, in terms of our announcements, we invite you to join us every Sunday at 1215 here in the community center in the Hallmark Meridian High Rise, 59 Central Avenue. And by those of you who are not here, we are so thankful and grateful that you tune in with us every Sunday. Amen. Also, our Bible studies every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. We invite you to join that uh, Bible study with us. Invite somebody, grab your word so we can study the word of God together and just continue to learn and grow how we might learn to please God. Man. Also, we invite you to go to Bishop's YouTube channel, which is Bishop Jonathan E. Locus. There you can find over a hundred plus videos, um, many of which, all of which, let me put it like that, uh, wherever you are, will find you and will be able to lift up your spirit and keep us moving forward in the things of God. And lastly, if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry, we encourage you to do so via Cash App, that's Dollar Sign Ministry 2021. These are our announcements. Let us govern ourselves accordingly. Amen. We certainly thank the Lord for the service upon today. We pray that something has been said to help you and inspire you and to encourage us to have a further walk with the Lord. And we continue to pray for us, pray, and we'll pray for you. And the we'll, Lord said the same. We'll be looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday night, 7 p.m. and the Lord say the same next Sunday afternoon 12 15 now if we just a little late coming on don't worry about it just stay with us we'll be on we, we're not gonna we're not gonna let you down and we pray that God bless you and keep you is our prayer